Because when I get fired up, I get fired up. I don't know what else to say. It's I spicy, voice, honey. I get annoyed, like, you know, I'm from New York and I get loud and I talk with my hands. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. You're like a nice, relaxed Canadian guy. I don't know what you want me to say. This is pretty big deal. Shout out to Revlon because I've got this Apricute blush that's going in my eye, but that's like the whole point. It's like the blush goes into the eye, a little bit on the nose. We warm up the face. Thank you, KT. Um, it's all about a versatile makeup look. So thank you, Revlon. Today I'm talking with Hailey Bieber. I would describe her as Hollywood royalty, but also at the core of Haley, I really feel like she's just as sweet as pie. From the day that I met her to who she is today, I have to say that it's the same girl. So check out a few of my favorite Pretty Big Deal moments with Haley Bieber. The there she is! Hi. How are you? I'm good, I miss you. I miss you so much. Now you've been married for two years, but can you just describe to me a little bit like your your last year, two years together? Everything happened really fast. You know, I think everybody knows that. Everybody was yeah. kind of like, hey, did you get married? <laughs> like, But I think that that was beautiful. Like I think, because you guys already had such a history. Right. I think that's just something that people like even publicly they don't know. I mean, getting married at 21 is like really scary. Although I felt like I had lived a lot of life and I always knew I wanted to be married young. I just was like, I always had this idea in my mind, like if Justin and I ever end up back together, we're going to be like way later in life. And I'm going to be like, he's going to be like 30 and I've like figured it out. And if not, mm -hmm. like we're never going to be together. And then it just came back around in a way where we were kind of just trying to figure life out. I remember this. I cuz you and I had lunch and you were like I'm happy, I'm single, like I'm I'm not talking to Justin. In fact, I'm not talking to anyone. Oh this yeah, I I've, of... I've always been extremely de independent. I yes. like, lived alone. I was it's like great. So it's so Yeah, important. I liked my space. But I felt like the time that things came back around for him and I was the time where I really had like let it go and was like, I don't know what's ever gonna happen with this person. I just know that I want him to be in my life forever mm. to some capacity, whether like he's meant to just be my friend forever. I just love him and I just want to support him and like he's always gonna matter to me. I think that to say communication is key is like the obvious in any relationship, but beyond like communication is key to keep a relationship together. What else have you guys done or like implemented into your life? We did premarital counseling. We did counseling within like the first five years. We do yeah. date nights. We've got like, you know, games we play with each other. What, what are you guys doing to keep communication? <laughs> Similar stuff like that. I mean, we did we did do like counseling and some therapy together before we were married. Premarital well. counseling. Yeah, and I also Great. think the the thing about him and I is that we had a lot of hurts between the two of us from mm. stupid shit that we did to each other when we were upset and jealous and annoyed and like you know mm -hmm. just things that needed to be healed and fixed before we were gonna get married and then also things when we were married that kept coming up that were like, you know, things start to just kind of like pour out when you're married because you're like, well, you're here, so might as well just <laughs> tell you everything and like tell you that that bothered me and like that actually really hurt my feelings. And the thing for me was that I started hanging out with him very early. So I was like 17, 18 years old. So yeah. because I came from this like Christian household and this background where I was like the homeschooled girl who was just like doing their thing and kind of like inexperienced and just. Because his know. lifestyle was, he was on was tour, so tour, he's yeah. a pop star. And you know, yeah. whether it's like, we are in another country tomorrow and then the next day, but there's probably like parties and all this stuff happening around him. Like, it was just like a lot. There was just a lot that I was experiencing mm -hmm. all for the first time. So then like when we got back together and now I'm like 21, 22, I'm like, now I have the awareness to know that like actually at 18 years old, that was a lot for me. And like, I wish mm. that that hadn't happened or like, 
you know, it broke my heart when this happened or like I thought it was disrespectful when you did Because when I was 18, like I wouldn't stand up for myself the way I would now as like an adult mm -hmm. woman. Y'all are two good looking people, like very good looking. How do you guys handle, how do you guys handle jealousy? I think f for me personally, like I think jealousy is like a normal, natural human being feeling. It's gonna yes. happen no matter what. Like if I could take the jealousy out of my body, I would, but like it can't and ne yeah. neither can anybody. I would say that like, I know for somebody in his position, there's always gonna be people that don't care that he's married and that will try if they feel like there's an opportunity or if they don't feel like there's an opportunity, they'll just try anyway. I'm like, it's just up to you not to let anybody think that they can get that far. You know what mm. I mean? And we just have built a lot of trust because we really went like zero dark 30 in the beginning. Like we went to the source of so many different things and did so much unpacking that it's like, we're now at the place where, I, I mean, it keeps getting better. I feel mm. like, and I would say, I know he would say the same thing. It just keeps getting better because everything got worked out the way it needed to be. And you know, we were able to, okay. there was nothing we weren't able to work out together. That's good. That's a good man. And that's the way it should be. We also now have rules and like systems in place. Like we don't go to bed mad at each other. That's a big hey. rule, right? We also like really try to play fair. Like we don't, like we're not name calling. We're not like, well, you did this two years ago, kind of. Kind yeah, of, we, you know. we don't we don't try to poke at the past because I don't think that's fair, and I've never liked it. We have a thing about tone as well, which where it's mm. like nobody wants to respond to somebody like attacking you or yelling at mm -hmm. you or raising their mm -hmm. voice. So when we come to each other, and it took time to to learn what each other needed in an argument or in a conversation. And for, for him, a lot of it was tone, like, cause when I get fired up, I get fired up. I don't know what else to say. It's I spicy, voice, honey. I get a little annoyed, like, you know, I'm from New York and I get loud and I talk with my hands. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. You're like a nice, relaxed Canadian guy. I don't know what you want me to say. So I had to really work on that where I had to just be able to be like, it makes me feel this way, <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> you know, like to hear the whole conversation, make sure you listen to Pretty Big Deal wherever you listen to podcasts. And thank you to my friends at Flamingo for keeping me fully hydrated with that light hydrating spray. Mm. Haley, thank you so much for giving us a little peek behind the curtain of your life and just being so open and honest. I, I love you, I appreciate you. Listeners, you're going to love this episode. Make sure to subscribe. To hear the full conversation, click the link below.